And now weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, today was a beauty. It started off a little chilly. Uh, the winds picked up throughout the day, so the winds were kind of an issue, and that's going to be a thing tomorrow. But the warmth today that we enjoyed over western Missouri and northwest Arkansas, especially where we topped out around 70 skies, were crystal clear from start to finish. Looking at the pattern overnight tonight, uh, we're going to keep those winds blowing out of the south, and that's going to keep the air sort of mixed up. And it's going to prevent temperatures from falling all that much. And those winds will continue to crank up on Thursday. Uh, it will be a warm and windy day at least. Instead of a cold and windy day, we're going to find highs in the 70s just about area wide. Wind advisory in effect for uh, areas from northeast Oklahoma right up the interstate into Illinois. That means areas along and north of the interstate here in the Ozarks looking at that wind advisory. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour possibility. I wouldn't even be surprised given the amount of wind energy that's going to be in place just off the surface if we don't see some gusts maybe approaching 50 miles per hour in this area. Uh, so it's a day where you're going to want to store the loose items. It's also a day where you're absolutely going to want to avoid any burning of any kind. Uh, because even though it has been wet here as of late, uh, fires can still get out of hand very, very quickly given the conditions that we're going to find. Looking ahead to Friday, things change. We've got a cold front approaching from the northwest, and it looks like we are going to find a cloudier day also on Friday. Now, I, I think south of this front, we are going to at least have opportunities for partly sunny conditions. Uh, areas close to central Missouri, it looks like a mostly cloudy day. And temperatures will be cooler here closer to central Missouri, while areas to the south will be looking at uh, warm conditions once again. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping into the low to mid 50s here along and north of the interstate, with mid to upper 40s more common to the south. Tomorrow looks like highs in the 70s. I think we're going to get into the mid 70s here in Springfield. We're going to get close to 70 in areas that have been cool today. Mountain Grove, uh, Kabul, West Plains, uh, Birch Tree, all looking at temperatures close to the 70 degree mark tomorrow afternoon. That does come with those gusty winds, though. Overnight tomorrow night, temperatures once again not dropping much, and uh, we should see an increase in clouds towards sunrise. Lows generally in the low to mid 50s, with highs on Friday ranging from the upper 60s, closer to central Missouri, to low 70s here over northern Arkansas. Looks like about 70 for a high here in Springfield. Looking at the weekend, here's the forecast change. And this started yesterday, but it looks like all the model guidance is on board today. And that is uh, that front looks to move a bit further to the south faster. Uh, looks like it arrives along the interstate as we head into uh, Saturday morning and then continues to slowly edge down into southern Missouri during the day on Saturday. That's going to make for wetter and cloudier and colder conditions here closer to central Missouri and we hold on to mild and mostly dry conditions along and south of the state line. Everybody sharing in the wetter and colder conditions though Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, as far as rainfall totals, they look pretty healthy. Uh, this is a favorable setup for heavier rainfall here along the interstate where it looks like we'll be looking at totals may be approaching two inches, lighter amounts on either side of that, but still a soaking rain across the area. And you can see the temperatures, David, not near as kind over the weekend. I think we're looking at temperatures maybe falling back uh, into the upper 40s to around 50 during the day on Saturday here in Springfield and not making it out of the 40s on Sunday. But even that, Jamie, 48 in November, that's not bad. It could be worse. It we could, could be, be looking at snow and we could be looking at lows in the single digits, but still chilly. It is. All right, Jamie, thanks. Remember, you can still